the drone at all today? Uh, yeah, for sure. I shoot all my intros right here because the lighting is so good coming from this window. See? What's up guys? It's the weekend and this is going to be a sort of day in the life video. I'm just going to take you guys around with me, show you what I get up to. Um, but throughout that, I kind of want to talk about why I quit skating for an entire year. So I'll be touching on that throughout the day. Let's go. Hey buddy. This is Earl. Alright, so as you can see here, I broke my board skating last night. So the first thing we're going to do is go to No Comply, get a new board. Let's go. Can I get two A5 shop boards? Yeah. Oh, of course. Yeah, thanks. Awesome, I'm glad you liked them. Sick. Oh, uh, yeah, for sure. Thanks, bud. See ya. Alright guys, story time. 19 year old me, skateboarder kid uh, in Houston. This was a really fun time for me skateboarding wise. We had like a skate crew called Dip Crew because our first full length video was called Dad I'm Pregnant. And these were really fun times for me. We were going out every single weekend on street missions and every weekend was a blast. Oh my God! <laughs> <laughs> Having a dedicated filmer to film you is so fun. I had a list full of tricks. We would go out to street spots that I could select. <laughs> and I had like a, a filmer catered to film exactly the kind of street part that I wanted to. And that was kind of like what felt like the pinnacle of skateboarding for me. That was exactly what I wanted to be doing in skating. And I was having a blast doing it. It was so fun. And then around the time uh, my friends were uh, ready to move to college, most of them were gonna move to Austin or San Marcos, including my filmer, he was going to Texas State. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, but I knew I wanted to keep skating and keep filming. So I decided I would follow my filmer uh, to Austin and just keep doing what we were doing in Houston in Austin. We were able to do that a little bit, but our skate group had kind of split up a little bit. We weren't all as close as we were before. And my filmer was now busy going to school. So I wasn't quite able to skate and film exactly as much as I would like to or hope to. So going from the super high of street missions, getting tricks filmed every weekend, to maybe going out every other weekend, this was kind of the start of my decline in how often I was skating. As I didn't have as much time to skate as I wanted to, I also wasn't as good as my very best every single session, understandably. And this is where having a bad mindset really played a factor into me in quitting skating entirely. So I was really hard on myself. Skating was kind of my main focus. Um, if I wasn't skating good, I wasn't happy about anything going on in my life. I don't know, I based so much of my happiness from it, from progressing and learning new tricks, and when that became harder to do, I told myself that it wasn't fun. Even though it totally could have been, it was just, it was my, my poor mindset. All right, it is so hot out here. We're gonna move locations. All right, just got the drone shots to make it look like I know what I'm doing. And now I'm gonna head to this new thrift store that just opened up uh, called Pavement. So I'm gonna browse around for a little bit 
and maybe buy some pants. <laughs> I guess I have to get pants now. Let's see if I can find some. See you guys there. Hey guys, I'm back home, and like I said, I got new pants. Um, I almost felt obligated to get them because I said I was going to, but I need new pants to skate in, so these will do. These will do. I got some pants. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go downstairs and set up that new no comply board. <laughs> After a few years of not allowing myself to have fun with skating anymore, um, I kind of started to look around for a new like physical outlet. And I landed on rock climbing. And that sort of scratched my itch for a little bit. Me and my buddy Ryan got really into it. And it was really fun to progress really fast at it as a beginner. But it wasn't quite doing it for me. At the time, it made sense, but it does I mean, skateboarding is my thing. I skated for 15 years, like, and I loved it all the way through. It didn't make sense for me to stop. So, I was doing rock climbing for a second, not skating at all. What happens next is muscle rear comes into the picture. After rock climbing for a second, I got into bodybuilding. And I did that for like eight months. And then quarantine happened, and then I was doing home workouts for a while. But after a few months of that, I started to get bored of that too, and I kind of could feel like something, like some change was about to happen. And that brings us to a few weeks ago, where I was, uh, it was the weekend, and I was really excited to sleep in, but for some reason I woke up at 7.30 in the morning, wide awake, with this weird urge to go skate immediately. I ate some breakfast and was at House Park within 45 minutes. And that session, wasn't bad. I got close to landing this all over this barrier here. Um, so that was like really assuring and made me realize that, oh, maybe I can get back into skating fairly easily without too much effort. I was always so hard on myself and uh, I did a lot of work in therapy the last six months and just have a way better outlook upon life in general. And applying a lot of the techniques I learned in therapy to skating has been a tremendous help. So the last step in figuring out I wanted to skate again full time was deciding that I didn't want to work out at all anymore. Also that I wouldn't hyper focus on my diet and worry about how good my abs look all the time. And letting go of both of those has been so freeing. I'm not staring at myself in the mirror every single morning like I used to. And all I care about now is just getting better at skating again. And I couldn't be more stoked. All right guys, it is now four in the afternoon. I wanna get a little bit of editing done, and then later this evening, I've got a photo shoot. See you there. Hey guys, we're done with the photo shoot, and I'm about to head home for the day, but I think it would only make sense to end this video with a skate session, so I'll see you tomorrow at the skate park.
Where's all this energy coming from? Holy shit. Okay, I'm amazing. All right, this is the end of the video. Um, I am super stoked to be skating again. And along with skating, I'm gonna be trying out this YouTube thing. So if you're interested in watching me get back into skating and just following me and see what I get up to, hit that subscribe button. I'm gonna be posting a video here every Tuesday. Oh my God, I sound so much like a YouTuber. <laughs> oh, wow. I sound so annoying. It's ha I'm turning into one of them. It's crazy because I'm comfortable doing this now. Here's a clip of me talking to the camera for the first time. Good morning, guys. Oh, this is weird. What is happening? I don't. I think I like it. <laughs> All right, videos here every Tuesday. Hit that subscribe button. I hope you guys had a nice day. Um, and I'll see you next week. Pew.